Good morning, guys. It's Coach Marty. Thank you for joining in to the Palo Alto Aquatic and Athletic Center for our kids camp and arts and crafts. Today, we're going to be making a foosball table. All right, guys, for your homemade foosball table, what you're going to need is a box or a shoe box, straws, rubber band, clothes pins, crafty knife markers, and a ping pong ball. All right, guys, for your first step, what you're going to want to do is cut out a goal for each end of your box, but just the right amount of size where the ball could fit in and out. I just wanted to go ahead and remind you guys, uh, please make sure you have a parent or guardian help you with this step because you are using a crafting knife or a kitchen knife but just please make sure you have a parent or guardian. So after you make a goal on each side, what you're gonna wanna do is get your straws, put two blue and two green together, and it's gonna make one long straw. So after that, you're gonna lay it on each side. Of course, you're gonna have one green on one end for the goalie and one blue on the other end. So after you line up all your straws how you want them, just get your marker and what you're going to want to do is make marks to where the straws are at because you're going to have to flip your box, cut holes and slide your straws through. That way they could hold in place. After you mark each end of the box, what you're going to want to do is take off all your straws, then flip your box onto its side, and you're going to see your marks at the top of the box. After you do that, you're going to get your clothespins and lay them according to your marks. Alright guys, after you have your clothespins lined up, just make sure they're not hitting the bottom and they have room to move around the box without hitting any other pin. Then you're gonna go ahead and get out your crafting knife or kitchen knife, whatever you choose to use. And just go ahead and poke a hole to the opening in the clothespin so you know where the straw is gonna go through.
after you go ahead and poke a hole on each end of the box, you're going to get your straws and just go ahead and slide them through to the other side. Just make sure it's every other color. So if it's a blue, next is a green, blue, and then green. Okay, so once you have your straws all the way through the box, what you're gonna do next is designate a side for each color. So one side needs to have the blue straws extended longer, and the other side needs to have the green straws extended longer. After you extend the straws the length that they need to be, what you're going to want to do is get your rubber bands out and what you're going to do is wrap the rubber band around the short side of the straw. You might need to do it a couple times just so it could stay in place so it won't slide in and out the hole you created for it. After you got your rubber bands wrapped around the straws, what you're going to get next is your clothespins. And it's up to you how many clothespins you want to use, but just designate the same amount for each team. So what you're going to want to do is get your markers. You're going to color, in this case I use blue and green, you're going to color half the amount blue and half the amount green. So after you finish coloring your clothespins, the next step is just to set them up on each straw. Once you're done setting up your clothespins, your last and final step is to throw in the ping pong ball and have fun.
Just wanted to say guys thanks for watching and i did want to give a shout out to coach brandy she did beat me but beginner's luck right